welcome back to another episode of Repeating Digit Guy. So, study Reddit. Um, I did some stuff off camera with the study Reddit. It took me a while, so that's why I'm not, I'm not going to show it here. But I saved the file, uh, and I'm just going to drag it in there so you guys can see what I did. Um, little kind of preview right there but I realized I messed up and I put it all in a group which I shouldn't have done I'm gonna separate it and put the stutter it into its own track call it the stutter bus and I'm gonna reroute only 444 and above to the stutter bus I don't want 111 I kind of want those on their own so um, putting them in their own little bus there and I'm going to drag and drop the MIDI file I made with the stutters right here. And something weird happens. I don't know why it does this. But even though all the frequencies are still grouped, you can see 444, all that stuff is still in the group. It's not sent into the effect trace. It's like, if I guess if you bus it to an audio track, it skips the group, which is weird to me. Um, but this is uh, Ableton 9. Maybe they fixed it in Ableton 10. Not sure. So I'm just going to Command C, Command V, copy paste it into every separate track. Um, it would be kind of cool if you could do groups within groups. That would kind of fix the issue. Kind of like how you can do racks on racks on rack. But you can't. So this is my little workaround. And we got our stutters. Yay. So it's weird gotta use effect tracks on all the tracks individually gonna take some processing power but uh, it's fine because i wanted the one 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 two 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 three 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 separate i'm gonna actually raise those up a little bit because i want to hear them a little louder those are going to be kind of like the uh center of the track the that'll stabilize everything and um everything above 444 is going to be stuttered so that's pretty cool right there One part that was messing with me right here though. It's a little too loud. Maybe shorten it up a bit. Um, okay, that's a little better. Um, so, one cool thing about uh, having it in 60 BPM is that it'll land right on the minute which is cool um after i believe it's the 15th bar so being that we're messing with time i kind of want to add a little bit more of like a time element in there something that actually clicks with the seconds um so i'm gonna add this sound here um and since the song is, it's kind of like in 4-4, you know, you got the 4 to the floor kick, but time is in 5s, you know, you got 5 seconds times 12 equals 60. So I wanted to add kind of like a polyrhythm, which is going to be in 5s um, over it. And so I like this sound. Cool little thing, cool little side note about Omnisphere. Since we already used Omnisphere before and we put it in 4-4-4 tuning, by default, anytime I open it up again, it's going to be tuned already. So I don't have to retune this to 444. It's already in 444. And now I'm just going to add a bunch of quarter notes. Five quarter notes to be exact. So it's going to be kind of like a clicking talk, clicking clock, ticking clock. Sorry. <laughs> clicking talk, ticking clock in the background. Um, and I just noticed that there are two sounds I actually only want one of those sounds here so let me turn off oscillator B by default this sound comes with oscillator A and B on so I'll turn off B and I only want A so it's kind of like a yeah ticking clock that's what I meant to say <laughs> all right now we got ourselves five do it 12 times you got a minute yeah and um wouldn't be a refractal video without doing some fractals right so i'm gonna duplicate this a bunch of times and then alongside of this track 
I'm going to actually double it and fractalize it. And you'll see what I mean right now. Let's just do the gate so that it's uh, more than 12 times, but we're going to need that anyway. So there's our ticking clock. I'm going to duplicate the track here and put one to the left slightly, one to the right. Pan in stereo. Stereo timing. Yes, indeed. He likes it. Right. And, um, let's see there. It's got a pretty cool little feel to it. And then now what I'm going to do is duplicate them both. And Ableton has this really cool function where you can half and double stuff right there. So I halved it and it literally half times it, which is kind of like fractalizing it, which is pretty interesting because that's what this whole thing is about is like halving and doubling. So you, you double 111, you get 222, double that, you get 444. You half 111, you get 555. And that's pretty much how music works with octaves and frequencies and um, fractals. So I figured why not make a fractal rhythm based on time and fractalize time um, and since they're stereo panned I'm gonna kind of flip them so you get equal feel on both sides for the same amount of time I guess and there you go give you a little bit of a balance and we're just gonna keep doing this I'm gonna I'm just gonna keep duplicating it Having it, having it, having it, having it, having it, having it. What? Did you say having it? I'm not having this. This is dumb. Well, you know what? Maybe you can double it. You want to double it, mate? Go ahead. Fuck if I care. But, uh, yeah, so this is what we do. Have some fun. Make some fractal sounds. And, yeah, like I said, I'm just going to keep doing this. Check out what happens. And it actually kind of starts to sound like a like a pinball machine or something. Like, yay, you got the ball in the hole. Hey. Which brings me to another point. What's with golfers? Man, these guys spend a lot of money to put that ball in that hole. You know what I'm saying? But uh, arcades are much better way of doing that in my, in my opinion pinball machines lots of fun and they have cool sounds like this so you'll see that it starts to get faster and faster it's like yay we won we beat the game another interesting side note uh, I learned this with the stutter edit actually um, shouts to BT the creator of the stutter edit um, if you keep like halving melodic notes shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter they eventually become clicks so melodies become rhythms and then the other way around if you keep doubling um, clicks and you make them longer they become melodies hey um, I actually have another video on that if you want to go check that out I think it's like slicing hi-hats to the extreme where we actually show that concept it's pretty cool so Get some other time you want to check that out that's what I, that's what actually happens melodies become rhythms rhythms become melodies if you keep having them and doubling them so it's pretty interesting all this stuff science music math science music and math and quantum quantum physics quantum quantum you if you listen to the quantum vedic the vedic the vedic teaching to the buddha that the teacher the everything at the half and the double keep having and doubling atomic quantum quantum physics so yeah I wanted to throw that in there because I think it's fun I think it's cool yeah pinball quantum quantum pinball machine of the fractal time wave When's this guy gonna stop with his damn half and just stop already? It's too many halves. We don't have that many halves around here. 
How am I supposed to half all these halves? And there we have it, my friend. Get it? There we have it. <laughs> what a dumbass. Yeah, I know. Shut up, Beaver. I saw her first. I have seen the top of the mountain, Beaver. So, now I'm just gonna like shorten this stuff so that it lands right at a minute. Because I want it to start right at the minute. That's when the breakdown begins so that you know it's a minute. It's exactly a minute. And it's, it's, it's a song about time and halves and doubles. And then I'm gonna kinda name some of this stuff to just tidy it up a little bit. Oh yeah, little bit of a rise there, ye. Yeah. So, so that it kind of breaks down right at the minute point. We got this reverse symbol. I think it's like a reverse ride that I recorded. And sweeps right in there with the little stutter that we did with the stutter edit, which is pretty cool. There we go. And if you notice down at the Right under the master track, you can see the timeline, and that's exactly at one minute. Twelve fives. Five twelves. Which, ironically, is a, is a double. It's a double number. Five twelves, you have that. 256, 128, 64, 32. Like computers. It's like computers. Five twelves. 60 BPM, one minute. All right, now everything's kind of tidy. We got it at the minute mark. I'm going to add another plugin here. Let's do um, Trillion. It's time to add a more melodic bass. We have our rhythmic bass. Now we need like a melodic bass pad. Mm, something there's like an oscillator and they call them Oscar or something. <laughs> Spectre Sonic, you're funny. There he is. Oscillating Oscar. An oscillating op. Oscarp. That's what I'm name that's what I'm gonna name my kid. His name's gonna be Oscarp. Osk. Call him Oscar, you can call him Arp if you want to. Is that like Oscar? Oscar Venga Paca. It's like a Mexican slash Oscarp. Like a British Mexican Hindu who believes in, uh, I don't know, nothing. Who believes in Antarctica. That's what he believes in. Because, you know, everything comes from Antarctica. And I'm going to make a bass line here. Ooh, that's loud. Turn it down. Actually, I'm gonna use fives again. Kind of, kind of give it like this polyrhythmic feel before it repeats. So we got a like, what would it be like? Five fourths over four fourths. That's a nine. Hey, Tesla would be happy. Tesla would be like, "This is my favorite song. It's not even done yet." I love it. Thanks, Tesla. We love you too, man. There we go. Alright. I like it. Duplicate it and call it a day. That's it for part two, folks. Part three, we'll do some more stuff, add some more drums. Hope you're liking it so far. I know it's kind of weird, but um, I don't know. I just find it interesting, all these things. So stay tuned. <laughs>